so we've arrived in lovely Tintin. And everywhere you look in this beautiful village is incredible history, starting with the Abbey. Ready? Should we go this way? Founded on the 9th of May 1131 by Walter de Clare, Tintin Abbey is situated on the River Wye and was the first Cistercian foundation in Wales. Ready? We thought we'd make a bit of an entrance. <laughs> One more time. Go! <laughs> I don't see it's grass <laughs> The Abbey prospered thanks to endowments of land in Gwent and Gloucestershire, and right until its dissolution in 1536, new buildings were added every century. Go to explore. Let's see what we can see. Since the 16th century, the Abbey fell into ruins following the dissolution of monasteries. Now looked after by Cadu, you can walk around the historic Abbey ruins as we did appreciating this amazing sight. You can imagine where you come in along the road through the Y Valley and then you see this. How about that? Incredible. Lots to explore and enjoy on your walk around. Loving this window. It looks like the sun's coming through it. Where are we going to next? In 1269, a new Abbey church was built and it slowly became one of the masterpieces of British Gothic architecture. The great church stands as it did then, although now without a roof, internal divisions and window glass. With an aisled nave, transepts each with two chapels and a square-ended aisled chancel, it's an incredible sight to look at. What have you spotted? It's so nice. The birdie. Oh wow, yeah, look. Looking back to the west, the wonderful seven lancet window stands tall. Mm. We're at the old Tintin train station. And somebody's made themselves very much at home. <laughs> right by the signal box. station on the former Y Valley Railway. It closed to passengers in 1959 and now functions as a tourist centre to enjoy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, on the track. There are three railway carriages on site, housing a souvenir and gift shop, an exhibition on the heritage of the Y Valley and a scale model of the station from the 1930s. <laughs> the circle of legends consists of six wooden life-size sculptures of mystical or historical characters from moments just past. Is it a choo choo? Yeah, it's a choo choo. And she's off. Wow, it looks like you can get married here in the signal box. Someone's found the swing. There you go. Wee! <laughs> Straight off. And for the last challenge of the day, we're on the bikes, ready to cycle along the greenway. Starting off at the Abbey Mill and ready for our cycle. Cycling first over the Tintern Wireworks Bridge, the five mile route shows the River Wye at its finest. Beautiful view through here. And we're off. A little bit bumpy to start, but straight through into the woods. Some incredible views of the Abbey to stop and enjoy. Someone's enjoying the pit stop. They're nice. So we've come all the way along and we're now looking for the one kilometre Tidnam Tunnel. An area of outstanding beauty. It's a wonderfully peaceful route with no rush to race through it. Now we've got a bit more flat terrain as we head towards the tunnel. We've arrived. Opening in 1876, Tidnam Tunnel at 1,188 yards long was constructed in 20 months. Ready for the tunnel? Let's do it. The tunnel was cut through carboniferous limestone and the portals are surrounded by masonry. Here we go. Ooh. When we're in. Woohoo! Here we are. Whoa. One kilometre long. Look at that. Wow. Just lit by these little lights. 
even shows you how far you've come as well on the lights. Amazing. I'm not sure if you can make this help, but wow, we are right in the middle of the tunnel now. Although very dark, Charlotte loved it. So it's a week on. Charlotte, we're back in the tunnel. And who's with us this time? It's Mummy! Let's go! Hello Charlotte! Hello Mummy! Hi yeah. Hi! What's that there? It's a tunnel! Brilliant to ride the route together and so appreciative of the fantastic volunteers who work so hard to get this open for us all to enjoy. Oh, a bit of traffic ahead. Got some dogs in here as well. Who's this? Hello! <laughs> You're there somewhere in the dark. The tunnel is open from April to September during the daytime and this is to protect the bat population which is why it is also dimly lit. Hi! Here they come <laughs> Can I get a high five? Yo and one for Charlotte! Yeah let's go! Back to the tunnel! There are reminders of the great history of the Y Valley Railway on your journey including track gathered alongside the path. Seeing the track makes you wonder what this route would have been like with trains coming through. Because <laughs> we're going back in the tunnel. On a hot day, there's nothing quite like coming in here to cool down. So we're out the tunnel. And on the last straight towards the diving centre. Look at that sky. And sunshine. <laughs> you got a cape behind you, mummy. <laughs> the passenger service on the Y Valley Railway was withdrawn in January 1959, and only this southern section of the route continued to Tintern and Dayhouse quarries until 1981 and 1990. Just a little bit further. Lovely and flat along here as well, so not too many bumps as you head towards the dive centre. You made it! Yay. Hey! It's got to be ice cream time. Ice cream. <laughs> ice cream, let's go. With depths of up to 80 metres, the dive centre with many water activities is a great place to start or end your journey. Cheers. 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 Ice cream. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Tintin to Chepstow, the Y Valley Greenway is a showcase of this stunning area with so much that can be enjoyed. Fantastic memories made, it's a brilliant day out.